Hey, what's up? I'm Chris with Heavy Heads Records in downtown Springfield, Missouri. 215 West Olive, heavyheadsrecords.com. So the other day I had a phone call about a record collection on the north side of Springfield, a classic rock record collection. And uh, man, I was surprised when I got there. It was really good. Check it out. So when I got into the garage, this is what I saw. And with the titles in the front of the boxes, I knew this was gonna be a good collection to go through. We made a deal and I hauled all that sweet vinyl back to the shop. Let's check out what I got. I went ahead and doubled the speed on the video because there are so many records here. As you can see, just a lot of great classic rock titles, some good soundtracks. Some stuff is obviously in better condition than others, but that's par for the course on a collection like this. So what you'll typically find when you pick a collection like this is a lot of mid-range stuff with some high-end stuff to set it off. If the high-end stuff is gone, you know somebody got to it before you did. When I said there were a lot, I meant it. In fact, there were so many that I had to leave some behind, which I typically don't do, especially the kind of titles that I did leave behind. That just goes to show you how great this collection really is. Due to the wear and tear on the covers, most of these records would fall under the category of what we call well-loved. However, most of the records inside are VG Plus or Near Mint. Okay, so I have a little bad news. This Pink Floyd Original Master came out and it's a little bit warped. Ah! Uh. But I've got some good news too. Got this copy of Big Bamboo. Guess what? It does have the paper. I hardly ever find them with the paper in them, so this was a cool score. As always, when you find the Ozark Mountain Daredevil's Car Over the Lake album, make sure you check for that red 7-inch flexi. So let's end this video on a good note. The original master recording of Pink Floyd Dark Side of the Moon I found really didn't have that much of a warp at all. The vinyl was near mint otherwise, and it played through perfectly. This one's going to make a great copy for the customer who gets it. That is going to do it. If you're interested in any of the albums you saw, add us on Instagram. Uh, check us out at heavyheadsrecords.com. All the links you need and more will be in the description. One more thing before I get out of here. Check this guy out. Justin Larkin, Springfield, Missouri musician. I'm going to leave a link to his new album down in the description as well. Make sure you check him out. Check it all out. Please like, subscribe, share, all that stuff. You know the deal. And uh, check out my other videos. Have a great day.